Okay, so not for nothing, this debate has been going on ever since the introduction of Ultra Ego Vegeta's brand new transformation, and make no mistake about it, this is going to be an interesting video. So down in the comment section below, right off the gate, I wanted to go ahead and ask you guys as to which one of the following characters do you guys believe would win in a one-on-one -on -one fight? Because not for nothing, I want to see right now which one of the two is going to have the upper hand on the other, and believe it or not, right now, I do stand on the grounds of probably favoring one of these guys more so than the other, only because of the current display that both of these characters have shown in the Dragon Ball Super manga, and not for nothing, I think for these mod variations, my boy Vegeta has to take the dub on this one, because if I end up perishing to a standardized Goku in this game, then I don't really know what to say, Chief, you know what I mean? So, I mean, I may be taking a pummeling, which I think is really weird for Vegeta's character, considering the fact that he took such a pummeling in the manga, and then he bounced back, which is fine, but he's ultimately hurt. Damn, damn, we took down Goku with a freaking gut shot, dude, which, I mean, not for nothing, I don't think Vegeta would be able to touch Goku if both of them went all out, which is interesting because if Goku hits Vegeta, Vegeta theoretically, right, based on self-proclamation, would get stronger, but at the same time, Vegeta would have a difficult time in trying to catch this man, so let's go on ahead and swap the roles real quick as we further this conversation, because make no mistake about it, I think it's an interesting one. Now, it's like I said, I really don't think that Vegeta would be able to touch this dude, especially if Goku focuses, but at the same time, if you look at all the times that Goku had managed to hit his opponent, and I'm just basing this off of a few instances, Jiren, Kefla, specific variations, I would say, of let's just say granola from the manga i don't think goku would be able to kind of hurt him unless goku just goes all out maybe you guys think i'm crazy but in this particular fight it's going to boil down to who's going to outwit the other and if vegeta is able to sustain a lot of damage then i mean i think he can definitely edge out goku but at the same time how the hell can he touch him if Goku really goes all out to avoid each and every single one of his attacks, right? Not to mention, in the manga, if you guys remember, against Merge Zamasu, Goku also kind of knows the Hakai in a way. Jesus, we blew this man to death. Okay, this is going to be hard because this is the standardized variation of Goku, right? Whereas Vegeta is the mod. So I really want to see if Goku can kind of outwit Vegeta because if he can't, then... I mean, it is what it is, but if you can, then this might be actually a much longer video than I intend for it to be. So let's see if I can actually pull it off here, but not for nothing on the main channel, I have so much planned, and I, I guess I'm just gonna tell you guys right off the gate, so next year, next June, this is what I'm planning, right? And let's see, look at that, I can't even touch this dude. So for next June, I have, according to what I have written down, I have two animations that are in the works. I have one of them being Goku teaching Broly how to achieve a higher level of power on Beerus' planet, i.e. Super Saiyan 3. That's going to be Shintani animation. It's going to it's going to take so long to make only because it's not easy to do. And the second animation that I really want to pack down is going to be this one. So yay or nay, it's not a sprite fight, it's an actual full-blown animation that I could get in trouble from Toei, but fuck it, right? They're not giving us episodes, I might as well give you guys some fan animation. And really, it just comes from your support. The more support I get from you guys, the better it is that I can make more money so I can pay my animators and giving you guys some fire-ass animation. So let me take Goku down. I don't know how he's taking all these shots. I mean, theoretically, he should be dead. Yeah, there we go, Hakai. Yo, Vegeta should have done this to Granola, and down goes Goku. And, and that's what's funny about this. I love that attack in this game because it really goes as far as to just destroy, no pun intended, your opponent, right? So the conversations down in the comment section below are going to be interesting. I'm going to be reading them as I'm either rendering out videos or doing something else. So Vegeta Ultra Ego or Goku Ultra Instinct. Who wins and why? So, I want to go on ahead and play as Goku one more time to see if I can even this out. If I lose, then Vegeta wins. But if I win, then the fight is even. So, let's see. Okay, so hopefully Goku does not fumble the ball on this one, just as he always tends to do in Dragon Ball Super, because, man, does anyone else get pissed off when Goku kind of acts stupid? You know what I mean? I don't know. I feel as though I'm, I'm about to start writing my fan mangas to where Goku is, like, intelligent, because he's not meant to be Einstein, but Jesus Christ, Every single time, he either gets Ultra Instinct or something happens, he just fumbles it. So, I mean, believe it or not, in my own opinion, if you were to ask me right now who wins, 
I would have to side with Goku. But since Goku sometimes just has this tendency to be stupid, I'm gonna have to go with Vegeta because I don't think Vegeta would ever allow for himself to perish to Goku despite Goku kind of outwitting him in terms of like speed and agility and stuff like that. But so far, I'm whooping on him. And I don't know, this this might be a draw battle, which I think a lot of people are going to call even, but I don't know, I, I, I suppose that certain people are going to call Vegeta and say, oh, Vegeta slaps because, you know, we're Vegeta fans, which is fine. And, and it's not really a Goku fans versus Vegeta fans kind of thing, but I really can't wait to introduce to you guys so much next year. And if you guys also want to go on ahead and download the mod for yourselves, oh, wait, 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 what just, oh, really? Whoa, wow. See, I'm not surprised. I'm really not surprised because I'm playing as a standardized UI Goku. That's That was actually surprising. If you guys also want to go on ahead and download Vegeta, I will leave his link located down below. But tell me, Goku or Vegeta and also in terms of animations, right? Outside of the animation that I have planned for June, do you guys want me to feature somewhat of a sprite animation battle involving these two soon? Because if that's the case, I'll get it done. And hopefully by then, by next year, there is a name change because I'm sorry, I can't stand the name. But either way, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for your time. If you guys are new to the channel, smash that subscribe button. Give this video a big fat thumbs up. We have tons of games coming on here, so it really means a lot to me if you guys stick on by. Tune back in for more, and I'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below. Have a great day, everybody, and take care. Peace.